La Palma eruption could trigger mega tsunami that hits the US. While the images volcanoes produce can at times be beautiful, no one should underestimate the amount of power these formations have. A volcano eruption in the Spanish Canary Island of La Palma triggered fears that a mega tsunami could hit the east coast of the United States. The eruption at the Cumbre Vieja volcanic ridge, which occurred in September of 2021, forced the evacuation of about 5,000 people from their homes around the area. It has been a while since the Spanish people have seen action from the volcano as the last eruption occurred in 1971. Low magnitude earthquakes are believed to have triggered the eruption that ignited fear of the possibility of a mega tsunami affecting the US. The fear likely stemmed from a 2001 scientific study published in the journal Geophysical Research Letters that found a link between the eruption of Cumbre Vieja and a mega tsunami that could strike the US. The authors believed that further eruption of the volcano could compromise the entire structure through their investigations of the volcanic eruptions in 1971 and 1949. The authors thought that what they termed the catastrophic failure of its west flank could drop between 150 to 500 kilometers squared of rock into the sea that would cause tsunami waves that would cross the entire Atlantic Ocean. They believed that these tsunami waves could reach the east coast with a height of 33 to 82 feet. Despite their findings, subsequent studies have diminished the threat of a possible tsunami on the east coast due to the volcanic eruption. It has been argued that any collapse of the ridge triggering the force hypothesized in the study is extremely unlikely because flank collapses would happen in stages. What is known, however, is that a collapse would have devastating effects on the people of La Palma. Janine Krippner, a volcanologist at the Global Volcanism Program, reflected, This scenario has been discredited by researchers, but it is rampant right now. Experts are lost in the noise, and people cannot access or trust the facts. We look at extreme scenarios in science to understand the entire spectrum of events, out to what may not be possible. Communicating that is so difficult. A 1,720-foot tsunami Tsunamis are a type of natural disaster that have wreaked havoc and brought devastation to many people's lives. They are high waves from the sea that are typically a consequence of disturbances such as earthquakes. There are some on record of impressive heights, but none more so than in Latuya Bay in 1958. Latuya Bay, found in Alaska, saw the tallest tsunami that we have ever managed to get on record as it reached a staggering 1,720 feet, earning itself the title of Mega Tsunami. Unfortunately, there were several casualties in this event, with five people losing their lives and many injured and homeless. The wave easily cleared trees and soil, leaving behind bedrock in its place. This tsunami followed an earthquake in the area with a magnitude of 7.8. The earthquake itself had led to significant rockfall, and now there is an ongoing debate that is somewhat prevalent. Was the tsunami a result of the earthquake directly or of the rockfall which caused a significant disturbance upon impact? Unlike tsunamis, mega tsunamis are not believed to occur through the movement of underwater tectonic activity, but rather by the impact of large materials falling suddenly into or near the water. Here, it's clear why the lines are blurred, thanks to the inconclusive nature of the tsunami's origin. This is not the first time that Lituya Bay has experienced heartbreak at the hands of a tsunami. Over a span of just a century and a half, it's thought that four or five mega tsunamis hit the area. Natural disasters of any volume are devastating, though one of this size, magnitude, and sheer immensity brought huge losses to Alaska, with some suggesting that this was the event that pushed the category of mega tsunami into existence. Severe droughts have revealed the Spanish Stonehenge. In the wake of the horrendous heatwave that befell Europe this summer, a striking discovery was made. This year's drought has been the worst drought in half a millennium, but at the very least, the suffering has rendered fruitful archaeological findings. Due to the lowered water levels in Spain's countryside, the Dolmen of Guadalparral, or otherwise known as the Spanish Stonehenge, has been uncovered. 
The Dolmen of Guadalparral is a prehistoric circular structure composed of almost 100 megalithic stones, which archaeologists and scientists estimate to be at least 8,000 years old. Dolmen were ancient stone structures thought to have been primarily used as tombs. Angel Castano, the president of a Spanish cultural organization, stated, All my life, people had told me about the dolmen. I had seen parts of it peeking out from the water before, but this is the first time I've seen it in full. It's spectacular because you can appreciate the entire complex for the first time in decades. The six-foot-tall megaliths were first found by the German archaeologist Hugo Obermeyer in 1926. As such, people have known about the dolmen since the 1920s, but rarely have people had the chance to see them fully and up close due to the waters that usually submerge them. The construction of the Val de Canas Reservoir led by Francisco Franco in 1963 permanently drowned the structure underwater. The top of the dolmen of Guadalparral can be seen when the reservoir is at a low capacity, but this summer has revealed more of it than the public has seen in decades. When, who or what made the dolmen of Guadalparral is an enigma, much like the British Stonehenge. A theory suggests that the dolmen of Guadalparral was made to calculate the summer solstice. Another implies that it served as a temple and another idea claims it might have been a physical map of the nearby river Tagus. Raíces de Paraleda created a Change.org petition in hopes of obtaining enough signatures to persuade the Spanish government to remove the circle from the reservoir and onto dry land, or preferably, into a museum. So far, their petition has over 45,000 signatures. It's a dire situation as history crumbles in front of our very eyes. The stone megaliths have already begun to crumble into nothingness due to their years underwater, and if nothing is done soon, they will disappear forever. In Castaños' own words, if we don't act now, it could be too late. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.